everyone. Welcome to my sixth video on joyful aging with Joanne. That's me, Joanne, as I'm sure you know. Today's video is going to be about proper alignment. I, um, sorry, first of all, I do want to mention that our theme this month is love and there are lots of videos out there not just on that theme but we have so many great presenters in the Ignite community check them out if you go on the Facebook group there's a section that says featured and you see all the videos or you can you know type in the person's name that you're looking for or a topic that you're looking for and things will come up um, and when you find something that you like please subscribe to Ignite and community YouTube channel, like our videos, it really helps. Thanks. Um, so as I was saying, I am a yoga instructor and I find that when I was going to classes in a yoga studio or when I was teaching classes, um, I do mostly all my yoga practice from home now. But when I'm in a group of people, I notice a lot of misalignment while people are engaging in a pose. So I want to focus today just on two that are very common poses. So um, downward dog and warrior two. I can't show you because I'm holding my phone, but I hope my explanation can help you a little bit. And as, before I forget, um, as I mentioned, I do a lot of my practice at home. Sometimes I do my own sequencing and do my own thing. But if I'm YouTubing it, I like Elliot Travis. He has great classes. I especially like his 30-minute uh, detox. So I like to do his 15-minute abs. And then I do his 30-minute detox yoga. Love, love. But he has so much. He has yin. He has power yoga, um, lots of different flows. <clears throat> anyway, so getting back to the poses, um, it's our spine is so, so important to our health. Okay, let's take care of our spine people, especially as we age, you know, we can probably be more aware and notice that we need to take care of that area. It's, it's such an important part of our health. It connects to all the nerves and then the organs and allows everything to flow smoothly up and down the spine. The more that we're engaging in different yoga poses, so important and it helps prevent um, osteoporosis. So anyways, the two um, poses I'd like to explain a little bit. So downward dog, because it's such a common pose. And you're probably very familiar with it, but, and this is probably something you've already heard, but I'll, I'll just say my little piece anyways. Hopefully it helps you in some way. So downward dog, the goal of downward dog is to lengthen the spine. It's not about getting our heels down close to the floor. If you can do that, that's great. Then you're getting, you know, a really nice stretch in your legs as well. But the objective is to lengthen the spine so we want to do this in a way that is not putting a lot of pressure on any specific limb so we want to try to um, put equal weight into the two hands and two feet we don't want to injure our wrists right by putting a lot of weight down onto the wrist so try to equal balance equal weight between the four limbs that's one and also then when you're um, in your pose try to align your head with your arms that are stretched out so your head is not back here it's not forward try to align so that your arms are in line with your ear basically I mean everybody's body is different but that's a guideline of course you know everything that I mention in any video I do. These are just guidelines. These are my thoughts. Um, my sharing of my life experience. Okay. Another good thing to keep in mind during a downward dog pose is 
to help us lengthen the spine. We want to create space between our heart chakra and our tailbone, right? So if we think of those two spots and we lengthen the space between those two, it helps bring those hips up and bring that tailbone up towards that. Th visualize that part of where the wall and ceiling meet. If you kind of try to point the tailbone up towards that, you're lengthening the spine and keeping equal um, weight between the limbs. That's a really good alignment. I know it's, it's, it's hard because you're not seeing it, but I hope that helps. The other one uh, for Warrior Two and other Warrior Poses, but specifically in um, Warrior Two, um, I think what I notice the most is people's knee either leaning inwards that front knee that is bent at 90 degree. So that's important, 90 degree, you try to bend it. If some people can't go as far as 90 degree, that's fine. But don't go beyond 90 degree. So your knee should not be forward of your ankle. And <clears throat> try to, <clears throat> sorry, put a little bit of more pressure on the outside edge of that front foot that is bent. So your it helps to keep that thigh open so the knee is not bending in so you're protecting your knee joint by doing this okay you're not putting as much pressure on your knee and then the other leg that is straight the one that's behind you also putting pressure on the outer edge of that foot so you're not leaning in towards your ankle anyways those are um, little tips to protecting our joints because you know, as we age, we realize how important that is. I hope this has been helpful. And if we feel good and we feel properly aligned, we will feel more joyful. So here's to joyful aging.